Welcome back to Athletes Unplugged, sponsored by GEICO. I'm Savannah Collins, today joined by Lauren Gibbemeyer. And who is this? This is Milo. Hi, Milo. <laughs> Welcome to the show. He's happy to be here. And you brought him into the Shield with you for this I season. I did, yep. So I want to ask you some questions about you and then some questions about Milo. Okay. You have spent so much time overseas in a lot of different countries. Is there one to you that sticks out as your favorite and one that you love playing in? Um, I played six years in Italy, so it's kind of like I spent more time in Italy than back home for one point, and uh, I'd say it's my favorite because of the food, and I built a lot of friendships there. I've seen on your Instagram that you are quite the home cook. You are being <laughs> modest, but it looks delicious. How are you adapting in the shield without an oven? Oh Have you my been getting gosh. creative? <laughs> Struggle. <laughs> um, yeah, my dad, he's retired, but he was a chef. And so oh, I wow. grew up with really good food and he kind of taught me some uh, tricks in the kitchen. So I've been trying my best uh, with what we have here in the Shield. So you were born and raised in Minnesota. Yep. Played in Minnesota. Can you give me your best Minnesota accent? Oh yeah, you betcha. You take oh. E94 up there. <laughs> you are ready. Everyone thinks that we all say, yeah, you betcha, but no I'm one no one. I think it's more like, I'm from the city, so people okay. kind of out in the, in the boonies will say that. <laughs> After spending all of those years overseas and traveling, when Athletes Unlimited got started and you got involved and it was starting to feel real, what were kind of your first reactions to th and thoughts of, okay, I'm, I'm going to play in the United States? Oh my gosh, immediately I was like, absolutely, this, is, this needs to be done. And I'm so excited for this opportunity and for it to grow and get better every year. Obviously our thing that we're always saying at Athletes Unlimited is be unlimited. So if you could have an unlimited supply of anything, what would it be? Puppies. <laughs> <laughs> More Milos. <laughs> yes, yeah. I want to I, I wanna have my own rescue one day, so oh, that would I be yeah, that. my dream. Is it What cause are you playing for this season? The, yeah, the Humane Society of the United States. I love it. We all spend a lot of time talking to our dogs, whether we like to admit it or not. Yes. What do you think Milo's voice sounds like? Do you have a voice in your head for when you think he talks back to you? I think he's very feminine. Okay. So I would imagine him kind of having a higher, squeaky, more feminine voice. What do you think he would tell you? Um, he would probably tell me that he wants to be outside constantly chasing squirrels. And he would appreciate if I had a big backyard for him someday. Oh, it'll yeah. happen, it'll happen. Milo, are you the goodest boy? Okay, so we are going to put our seriousness to the test. We usually have a lot of fun and ask goofy questions, but today it is about getting in serious mode okay. with bad jokes. Okay. So I have some pretty cringe-worthy <laughs> jokes okay. for us today. I'm gonna try and get in the mood. Yeah, hold it in, all Whenever right. Whenever people are like, okay, serious Game face, face, I'm like, I don't have one. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. What happens if you drop your iPad and iPhone in the water? They sink. Nice. What do you call a girl standing in the middle of a volleyball court? What? Annette. <laughs> I can't believe someone stole my limbo stick. Like seriously, how low can you go? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Why don't sniper attacks work on volleyball players? Why? Because they always run for cover. What do middle blockers and waiters have in common? What? If they do a good job, there's a tip coming. I once swallowed a book of synonyms. It gave me the thesaurus throat I've ever had. <laughs> Shoot. I don't even think I said the word right. <laughs> So stupid. All right, I hope this one gets you. What happens to illegally parked frogs? Illegally parked frogs? What? They get towed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that one's my favorite. <laughs> oh my gosh, who wrote these? <laughs> <Sally. Let's> Google. <laughs> Milo, Lauren, thank you so much for joining me today on Athletes Unplugged, sponsored by GEICO. Thanks so much for having us.